Hey Austin, how you doing, man? It's Mark Hertzlick. Um, I went to Conestoga High School, grew up in Wayne, PA, and uh, ended up going to play for Boston College football and then um, New York Giants after that. And um, along my journey, I had to battle through bone cancer, and I know that fight and how painful it is and how mentally tough you have to be and just how unfair it is. Um, and your your experience right now is a little bit different, but I just I know how hard it is, and I know how uh, emotional it must be, um, and I can't imagine uh, how unfair it seems. Um, and so I just wanted to reach out to you and let you know that I'm thinking about you and praying for you. Uh, I know that God can work absolute miracles uh, and has in my life, and I know he will in your life as well. And uh, I, I, you know, I, don't know, I don't know the pain that you're experiencing right now. Uh, not a lot of people do. Um, but I, I can feel for you, uh, and I can empathize with your experience right now. Um, and I just wanted to let you know that you are not alone at all. You have an entire community uh, supporting you, uh, rallying around you, understanding uh, that you are in need right now, um, and that we can provide some help uh, in certain ways that, uh, that might be helpful to you. Um, just want to let you know, too, that you do have what it takes to get through this. It might not feel like it all the time. I know for me it did not. Um, but with God's help uh, and with your strength and your family, uh, you can battle through anything. Uh, and life seems like it might look crazy or different or whatever it is on the other side. But let me tell you uh, just from experience that uh, you can have just just as much of a fulfilling life afterwards. Um, you know, I, I had bone cancer in my left leg. I was told I'd never be able to walk again. I ended up then going and playing uh, football for the New York Giants for eight years. Um, and so this is something that uh, people might say, hey, you can't do this, you can't do this, you can't do this. Well, guess what? Um, they might know what's going on with you, but they don't know you. They don't know what you are capable of. Uh, and I, I have all the faith in the world that you will get through this. Uh, you will be even stronger on the other side, and, and you're going to be able to inspire many, many, many people. Um, just with your battle alone. You don't need to share it. You don't need to talk about it if you don't want to. Um, but even just watching your journey uh, and, uh, and experiencing it from, from a distance, people are going to understand uh, the true power of God and the true power uh, of bravery. Uh, and you are a brave, brave boy. Uh, <laughs> so brave, in fact, that I don't even know if it's able to classify you as a boy anymore. You're brave as a man, <laughs> even even more so than me. And so... I just wanted to send you this little video, let you know that I'm thinking about you, uh, supporting you, um, and uh, you know the road ahead uh, might be bumpy at times, um, but that road ahead is going to lead you to someplace great, uh, and I'm praying for you and thinking about you. So take care. Try to keep a smile on your face. If you don't feel like smiling, don't smile. Listen to your body. Your body's going to tell you a lot, um, but whenever you do feel like smiling, put it out there. Because the world needs it. They need your light. They need your love. Uh, and they need your dedication. Take care, man. All the best.